What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Survival Fountain of Youth. And right now we're sailing towards Foggy Island. And I just want to check it out. I want to see what it's all about. And then we'll have to head back to base camp so we can unload. And make sure we can bring in a full haul. But you didn't come to hear me talk. You came to be entertained. The name's Mad Max. And I hope you enjoy the show. Dude, check this place out. That's gotta be Foggy Island right there. We already passed the temple. All right, hold up. I don't know if I can get up on any of these things. I wanna try to at least map, but I don't even know if I can map in here. It's too foggy. Not much here though, there's one of those trees. I've got a little bit of room to take stuff with me. Not much. <gasps> is that is that a bat? so fast this island's already freaking me out I think wind chill's going away though ooh what is oh hold up before we do all this let's see if there's any goodies April 24th, AD 13. Oh my lord. The god's favorite, Caraca, Captain Vamara Ribeiro. The expedition is close to finishing. If the navigator is right, a huge formation of islands must be somewhere near. I will call these lands New Portugal, and they will become a diamond in the crown of His Majesty John I. April 26th. The fog is thickening. Sailors say that there was a sound similar to a horn. Just in case, I ordered the rum supply to be cut off for the next two days. April 27th. The sound of a horn in the fog is clearly audible now. Could it be that we're approaching inhabited lands? April 28th. There is land ahead. It looks like an island. April 29th. There's no way to reach the shore by ship in such a fog. I, along with several people, will disembark on a boat in order to hoist the flag of Portugal and declare this land the property of the Portuguese crown. I should probably move my mouse. April 30th. We've been severed from the world. Right after we disembarked, a terrible storm came. God's favorite was smashed against the coastal rocks. The remains of it washed ashore. Now only 16 of us are left. God help us. May 2nd. This foggy island is quite a graveyard of ships. Looks like we are far from being the first one shipwrecked here. Fortunately, these wrecks are a good place to settle down. May 3rd. Two sailors are missing. The rest are whispering that someone was walking around the camp last night. The horn still sounds from the heart of this island. Just in case, we will strengthen the guard. May 4th. Three more sailors are missing. The footsteps in the fog are now heard by everyone. The horn keeps blowing too. We'll go to that sound tomorrow to find out who is kidnapping our people. Written by another person. You know, I'm not going to try to read this in an accent because I don't even know what it is. It's May 6th, Captain is missing. <laughs> Everyone is missing. They left me to watch the camp and left to the Sand. Never came back. Sunvon walks in the fog. I, Sailor Miguel, on Rombrada, that last survived. Dang. Dude, I'm gonna... I just made the hair stand up on the back of my neck. I'm gonna turn around after reading one of these. There's gonna be someone standing there. This is really creepy, though. They should have made themselves spears. There are ships everywhere, though. Dude, look at this. 
We're gonna like start walking around as we freaking zombies. <gasps> what was that? What was that? <gasps> oh, it's a little mouse. <laughs> An Algati. Oh, oh, I just got something. Oh, probably just food. Wait a minute. Are you, are you better than the roasted ear dog? You are no better than this. At least they didn't attack me. Got a fishing spot. We have still not built a fishing pole. We haven't really needed one, though. Like... I mean, there's all these fishing spots, but... There's so much food in this game. And I'm pretty sure I have it turned down to where there's less animal. I don't know what I did. Let me get up here and see if it'll let me uh, map. I think it's too foggy though. Oh, yep. At least the wind chill's gone, so... Maybe that means tonight I can actually regain some health. I kind of like this island, though. It's quiet. What is that? Ooh, Flint. <laughs> and here comes the rain. Ooh. A print ship. Oh, 12.30. Holy shnikes, this is freaking early. January 4th. This is a lot to read, guys. I know some of you like this. Captain Edmund Duforand. The Montesuger. Montesuger. The Lord is kind to us, and there is no winter in the lands. The last time we saw snow was last winter, back home in Toulouse. But now, for cathers like us, there's nothing but the fires of Inquisition. But the Lord didn't leave us, and we believe that we will find a new land where we will build a new state according to his commandments. January 5th, the fog around the ship mute sounds, but reverent jewels praise hard for the Lord to lead us through this fog. January 6th, the Lord gave us a sign. We heard the sound of a horn in this fog. God's angels have blown it to show us the way. January 7th, a terrible shipwreck took several lives. We have lost our ship. But we have gained our land. Clearly the Lord wants us to stay here and never go back to a France drowned in the Pope's heresy. January 8th. This island is littered with shipwrecks. Reverend Jules says that the Lord took the ships away from those who arrived here because their journey is finished. We wanted to proceed deeper into the island, but the people are too tired and the fog is still not cleared. January 9th. After the morning prayer, we found out that Denise vanished. Reverend Jules said that he had heard the steps of God's messenger in the night. Maybe he took Denise as the most righteous of us. The rest are not ready to see his face yet. January 10th. God's angel blew the horn again. This is a call and we will go to it. January 12th. What we have found cannot be done by human hands. The devil deceived us. This island is his place and his victim. Having knocked us astray in the fog, he beckoned us with the sound of a horn, and we went there. The Lord tried to stop us by wrecking our ship, but we did not heed his sign. And now, one by one, the devil takes us, walking around in the fog like a wolf around the herd. January 13th. May I be strong in my faith. May I be strong in my faith. May I be strong. Holy shnikes, I'm going to turn around. And there's going to be a demon. This got intense. Like, real quick. Foggy Island's got the sound of a siren on it. I don't think I heard a horn when I pulled up next to it, though. <gasps> no. No. You should never do that. A cookbook.
Dang, man. What is this? A massive stone. Look at that. Our first real threat. Other than the bats. I kind of forgot about the bats. Living water. Alright, so we checked out that chip, that chip. Uh oh. Thought I heard something. I do hear something. I don't know what it is though. <gasps> God bless it, what was that? Dude, these stupid bats do some damage. I'm gonna die from bats. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna die from a bat. I'm gonna die from a f***ing bat. Holy crap. Okay. I don't think I have stuff for poison. But I do have that. The bats are now the worst thing ever. What's this? Oh, a Dutch ship. September 12th, 80, 1489, Jacob Hagen, ex-crew of the frigate Pride of Flandria, Royal Fleet of Netherlands. The mutiny failed. The blasted soldiers we transported decided to support the captain. In GD it, they really know how to fight. The captain was not a complete bastard after all. Instead of having us hanged on the yards, he ordered us to disembark at the closest island. Well, all right. Thanks, Cap. Hope you sink this damn ship and hit the bottom along with your precious soldiers. September 13th. We made a good shelter in those shipwrecks. When this blasted fog clears, we should expect the island more closely. After all, we have to live here for some time. September 14th. Garrett says that he can try to turn those wrecks into something that's able to sail at least to the nearby islands. This will inspire the lads. September 15th. Someone blew the horn at the heart of the island. Looks like we're not alone here. The blasted fog still hasn't cleared away. September 17th. Yesterday, Jan and Peter left to see who's playing the horn in the fog. No news yet. September 19th. Johan left to find John and Peter. The rest of us are searching for anything useful among these wrecks. Someone was stalking around last night. September 20th. Garrett vanished. The old fool must have strayed too far. Hope he didn't get crushed by the wrecks. September 21st. Johan has returned, and bloody hell, he is gray as my grandpa. He's shivering all the time and mumbling something about footsteps in the fog and bodies on the branches. The lads are starting to get nervous. September 22nd, someone was prowling around again last night. When Johan heard those footsteps, he screamed like hell and ran into the fog. I haven't the slightest wish to search for him there. September 23rd, lads keep vanishing. We need to find a strong ship hole and barricade ourselves there. 
September 24th, someone is walking on the boards above us. Holy crap, guys. Just gonna keep walking. Just keep moving. What was that? The morph lamp. Uh oh. I think I heard a dog. Oh, I did. This one. Let's dance, brother. Oh, no. Oh, he got me. <laughs> he got me real good. Okay. How much living water do I have? Okay, a three, guys. I'm just going to use it. Oh, there you are. God. I'm like... I'm like really slow today. A white jackal. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, we need to get back to our ship. Let's get back to our ship. I'll put the bandage on. We can come back for that stuff in the morning. Oh my god. Oh! What is this? Oh no. This island can horrify even the most experienced sailor. Our historian, Jose de Ruiz, had to investigate the fogs and shipwrecks here. I don't know what happened to the scientist, but his remains are now hanging from this tree. It doesn't look like the work of the same killer. Dude, I completely missed that. So that's the scientist. Oh no. But we just got a compass. Cortez's compass. Let's see what that is first. May it lead you to victory over any goal. Jose, my friend, signed. Hernan Cortez. Mapping range by 25%. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, Jose de Ruiz, historian and linguist. Expedition of Ponce de Leon, AD 1513. This fog, whenever I go in it, they sound like they're nearby all the time. I have returned to the tree and the altar. If anything, steps in the fog, steps in the fog. I have yet to hear anything. I don't really want to. But I haven't heard anything. Let's just keep moving up. Let's see. Oh, this looks like stone, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we got obsidian. We've got stone. Got a crap ton of eggs. So far, the most dangerous thing. I mean, the jackal is my fault. Those flipping bats suck. Uh-oh. Now I did notice. He didn't talk about the horn and the fog, though, did he? That was just the old sailors. Dude, something stupid's about to happen. I know it. Okay, we got native map. Dragon fruits. Was that it? There's nothing on the island? Everything got stupid quiet, though. So now that we found him, and it didn't even give us any information. It basically just said, yeah, these dudes got here and they died. However, I do think we can still... We've already basically unlocked the next region, right? We've gone to interesting sites, set of tools. We still have whatever this is. 
which is a fairly big island. There's also a shipwreck over here. I do want to, I'm going to at least check this one out before we do anything, just to see if there's anything we can get. So we know here we get iron, here there's uh, obsidian if we need it. Don't know what's here yet. And then we can also go ahead, we need three more pieces of natives map, or we can learn the blueprint. This looks like a dang Spanish ship. Alright, we just got to figure out where we're going now. I think that might be it right there, that big tall hill. I also want to check out that shipwreck that's on the map. That's it, right? It almost looks like there's not much here either. Now ah, there's something glowing. I do like this boat though. Alright, what time is it? Not even midday yet. Look at this. Oh, I think I heard a dog. Yep. Ancient drawing. Song of the Stormbreakers Divide. When all the Stormbreakers were burned, long cried the mortals, death to us all, for immortals were the only craftsmen who knew how to build those ships, and there were no skilled craftsmen among the mortals and no knowledge of how to do it. At the same time, immortals imprinted that knowledge onto a large copper plate to preserve it for the future, and they split the plate into many parts and kept those parts on many islands where they were hiding. And thus they spoke, no Stormbreaker will enter these waters until we win. And thus they took the precious fountain away from the mortals. Oh no. Please tell me I don't have to build another giant ship. This can be like, you need all the copper. Guys, I want to take this time real fast to say thank you so much for your support throughout this series. It's doing a lot better than I thought it was going to. And some of you even said uh, that other people started it but never finished, and I don't know why. The story makes this game amazing. Yeah, it's a little grindy here and there. I don't like being out in this grassland. Something's about to happen. But yeah, just thank you guys. Y'all have made this series so fun. <gasps> what was that? Okay, so we, what is this? This is the long sticks. <gasps> Look at him! Hey, you want a hug? Oh, I was going to throw this at him. Pumpkin seeds. Oh, I heard it. There's a flipping puma, I hear it. Alright, we got another book. We got a whole bunch of books to read. The Book of Washerwoman by Nicholas... Lamel. Oh, here we go. Orange trees. Guess we can eat some some dragon fruit. We can eat our, our egg that we made like three days ago. That's going to taste real good. Okay. It's okay. We're ready to fight this thing. Oh, I see you, kitty, kitty, kitty. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna flip and die. Why was that so hard? Oh 
I gotta get back. Oh, I can only do one. That's okay. We found a bunch of stuff, so... Alright. Holy crap! Bamboo. Dude! Oh god, I see another one. Wait. No, it's a pig. This freaking bird comes down and hits me. Oh, there he is. So bad. Holy sh God bless it. Dude, that was a straight up bow shot through the bamboo, man. Like, oh, you don't have a clear shot, don't shoot, and I shoot anyway. It looks like when I freaking hunt. Iron ore. I am wrecking myself. There's more of this iron tree. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back. Maybe that's what we should do right now. We should just clear the... I think I've said this already. We just need to clear everything out. So we can come back and make our supply run. We got bamboo. We've got iron. What is this? Freaking need that again. Okay, two iron deposits that are easy to get to. You talk too much. I should take clay anytime I get it. I don't see it very often. Like, I'm gonna have to bring the dang resources to... to build a handcart. What is this? Long sticks? What do we have here? Can't go that way. Maybe not. Can we fix it? Oh. Yeah, we can. Requires bamboo stick. Okay. So, where are we at? It's almost night time. Let's go back. And what do we need? What do we need? Cold medicine. I don't think I'm poisoned anymore, right? Okay. Let's try to get some sleep. We're not going to get any health, though. I wonder how long that just took. <laughs> it probably did it immediately. Oh. Oh, look. I wonder if I can hit this dude from here. I'm sure gonna try it. <laughs> that just made up for everything. He's the only one, right?
we got up here. Oh, yes. Well, we need like two more of those, right? I think we have 13. That was an awesome shot and you guys flipping know it. I don't hear a dog barking anymore. Did we do it? Did we clear out the island? Nope, I hear another one. Oh no. Okay. You know, I don't think we got a single... Did we get a tablet from the other island? Also, guys, none of y'all told me, as I went back and edited, not this video, but the last one, I noticed that all of those bowls that are on Island Island already have oil in them. We could have lit all of them. Oh my, look at this! Oh! <gasps> What is that? What is that? I'm gonna shoot it? I just lost an arrow. Oh god. Okay. I, I don't want to drink it. But... I'm a bit afraid of it. Oh god, it's- <gasps> There's a flippin' boss fight in this game! <gasps> Jerk face! Oh, you get your little ass back in here? Oh, no! Ah! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in here. I'm gonna die in here. You met my spear. That was a stupid mistake. Oh god. Oh my god. Watch his health is gonna be all the way back up. Stupid wolf. Oh, I have nothing. Where's my stuff? I thought it comes back. Dude, I thought your stuff came back. Jerk. Dude, where's my stuff? This gigantic freaking mammoth bone. potion this time oh my god there's three of them oh 
Oh, I've got freaking level three. Oh my god, dude, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die again. That's what's gonna happen. Oh, I don't want to do that again. That was stupid. Okay. Buffalo potion, buffalo potion. God, guys. Living water, living water. Oh, no. <gasps> I drank both of them. Get your freaking butt back here. Oh. Oh my god, I drank all of my living water. <gasps> that was so stressful. That was so stressful. Where's all my stuff? I swear you're supposed to get your stuff back. Oh, there it is. <gasps> Thank god. Oh my. Give me your freaking skin. Great Jackal chest key. And your tendons. That was stupid. What did I get? What is that? Oh my, yes? Yes? <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay, what's this? We do need to get out of here, though. Great jackal. Dude, what is... There had to be giants here, man. We're gonna run into freaking giants, aren't we? What is that? This just became my favorite episode so far. Except for the fact that you guys got to watch me die. I want to go beat the crap out of these freaking... Jackals, though. Let's go, dogs. I want to smack you in your face. Oh, <laughs> Get your little butt back here. Yes. I am now the king. I want to go smack a puma with it. Okay. Guys, I think we're good. I think we've conquered this island. We've conquered the last one. Not that there was much to conquer on that island. But we can now come back and get all of our resources. So. That was intense. That was flipping fantastic, though. Okay, before we go back, there was one other thing I wanted to check out. So we're going to go do that real quick. I do want to also try to kill a ray. 
It said you could get ray leather. I really want to kill one. I don't remember why I needed the ray leather, but... I want to get one. I think it said you can make a copper tip harpoon though, so maybe that's what we need to use. What is this? Hold up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh God. Where's it at? I don't even see it. I ain't ready. Oh, I see it way over there. I ain't even ready. Though I kind of want to because I have this wickedly. Oh, dude, look. this sage we just found the ultimate landing area look at this <gasps> got a tanner workbench a skin dryer dried hide pile of scrap another book science of weapons we have like 10 books we gotta read we're finding all kind of stuff. And this flipping thing is legit. Alright, let's go find the shipwreck. We we can't break into that, can we? Because there's not much here. Okay. Oh, there's a ray right there. I'm stupid. Okay, we're going to try to kill it. I don't see anything in here. Oh crap. I guess at least it doesn't turn around and try to suck your face off. <gasps> I don't know what just happened. <gasps> what just happened? Is that what happens when you get shot? Dude, these things won't die. Oh! <gasps> 
It won't die. Oh my god. Of course a flipping storm rolled in. Oh my god, what is happening? <gasps> Stop it! Okay, let's get out of here. Ah, home sweet home. What time is it? Oh, that's not too bad. It's just after nightfall. Go ahead and go to sleep. Get rid of this cold, maybe. We got a lot we got to do. We also really need to expand this base. Yeah. It's a lot we got to do, guys. But let's... But first, let's get rid of this cold. Make some breakfast. Can't get anything out of there. There we go. That's done. Don't know if I have any food I can eat. Right here. But I can make some fish. Alright, we're good. So, back on the other island I was looking around and I may not have shown it, I may have. We really gotta look into this medical stuff. So like here, you know, we got buffalo potion. I did not realize that it restores maximum health. So, we're gonna have to go and pick a whole bunch of toadstools. I still haven't found death cap though. And I've probably been looking in the wrong place. We need alcohol. There was something else. This one, purple coral, restores 41 health over four hours. But we found plenty of that. And this, I think, is the dorsal fin. Yeah, the dorado fin. That's just easy things we can get. Red gum. I don't think I found any eucalyptus. The medical kit. I mean, why would we not have this kind of stuff? Bone needle, tendons, and some alcohol. We got a lot we got to do. I want to make sure I'm 100% prepped before we go to the next region. And the only thing we got to do back at the other region, back in Puma, is just collect. We have a whole bunch of iron we got to get. We got a whole bunch of coal we can get. And there's some other random things as well, but we need stuff. All right, we got to make some wooden planks. Let's take that. We're going to add another one, I think. Yep. There we go. We need to make wooden planks. How do I do that? Just one log gives us two. So we gotta go and grab logs. Restored nine days. We're cutting you down. I'm surprised we get attacked here in a minute. I can only take one. Went from having fun to now we gotta grind. Probably don't even have a dang saw. 80. Okay, so my ship's a little bit different. That sucks. But that's okay. What's in here? We are going to move you. Right there. Okay. I need to make one more of these bad boys. There we go. And... Gotcha. Alright guys, I'm going to do some inventory management, get everything off the ship, and then I'll be right back.
All right, guys, well, I did some inventory management and uh, went ahead and processed the rest of the logs and built this foundation. I'm sorry I didn't include you in it, but I do want to include you in the rest. I want to basically make a garden area, if that makes sense. So what I could do is do something similar here out to a certain point. Then the rest that'll be outside will all be gardening and food dehydrating and that kind of thing. So let's get at it. There we go, guys. There we go. I flipping love it. I just need to move some things. And this thing, how big is it? Oh my god, that this is not gonna work for me, is it? <laughs> all right, guys, well, our garden is not gonna be right there. That just means we can put all of our other stuff there. We'll move our garden right here. All right, guys, well, there we go. Hibiscus, corn, pineapple, dragon fruit, pepper, sweet. I mean, really, guys, at this point, we can now look at upgrading some of these things. I mean, this is just drying. So this needs to be upgraded, but we need a metal pot. Upgrade this. Ooh, fabric flaxseed. We haven't found flaxseed yet. We can probably wait on that one. We can upgrade our chemistry workbench so we can do all this stuff. Creating complex medicines. We have almost everything we need to make an improved smelter. Garbage, man. We gotta have a lot of stuff. Alright, guys. So we need to go find two large stones. about to need to repair our stuff here. What is this? Oh, we haven't found this yet. Ancient monument. Song of the Great Thirst. Miraculous was the water of the fountain gained by the four tribes. But the fountain was not infinite. Dozens of storm breakers were going back and forth to Bimini, but there was not enough water for everyone who desired it. And each boat returning from the island was greeted by hundreds of stretched hands. And many of those who desired the potion were worthy of it, but could not get even one sip. And when one person took the potion, a dozen more asked, Why not me? And when one person prolonged his youth, a dozen more asked again, Why not me? And the elders saw that seeds of discord were being sown, and that trouble awaits if there is too much envy in the hearts of men. How flippin' true is that? Oh! I got a clay pot. Dude. I have been up here before, right? Oh god. Let's go. Little jerk. What is this? Obsidian. Dude, maybe I haven't been up here. It's nice that the sun finally came out though. Maybe I can find two big big stones sitting up here, but it doesn't look like it. okay. Oh, there's one. That might be another one right there. That was probably much faster than going and trying to find a uh, an actual deposit, though I, I know where a couple of them are. Now that I'm thinking about it. Let me get a bit by a snake down here, though. Tell you what, let's go ahead and... Grab some more sticks. Pretty sure snakes like to hide out right here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh God. Little jerk. Upgrade everything we need, right? Produce copper and iron ingots. It only takes 36 minutes to upgrade this. No suitable tinder. There we go. We have a runny nose again. Alright, let's just, uh... Oh, the tinder makes all the difference in the world. Oh, we need water. This should be done. 18 new blueprints. There we go. Now we can make iron. Iron everything. A pistol base. Saber blade. Nails. Iron chest. Excellent workbench. We actually have all the stuff to build that. Minus the iron ingots. What's this? Oh. This catches everything. Ships. Oh, look at this. That's flipping sweet. Dude, we have almost everything we need for it. We just need more iron. <laughs> We're going to build one of those. Guys, we've got so much we've got to do now. Uh, we've unlocked the ability to create iron. So I do think I'm going to end things here. For the next episode, we're going to upgrade our clothes. We're going to head back to the Puma region and get as much iron and ore that we can. If we can swing by and maybe pick up some more copper from uh, the Buffalo region, we're going to do that too. Guys, gals, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your love and your support. You guys are fantastic. But for now, stay frosty, stay mad, and I'll see you all in the next one.